Hello, Oceana world. My name is Noel Suarez, and I've been an artist in residence with Oceana for the last eight years. Welcome back to my studio in my home in Miami, where we're going to be doing these short little classes to keep you informed until it's time for us to get back to the artist loft. So, one of my favorite parts of the world has many beautiful parts. The world has so much to offer, but my total favorite is the Mediterranean. And within the Mediterranean, one country that is just my favorite. I love them all. I love the Mediterranean, but Italy. Italy it has just something that I can never get enough of Italy, no matter how many times I've been there. So um, within Italy, we have, of course, Florence, Venice, Rome, which are the cradle of the art, the true art that spread all over the world. From the moment of the Renaissance on, drawing has been really the most crucial part of painting. So drawing is the base of all of it. Actually, when you go to be classical trained, the first semesters, many, many years are dedicated to drawing in details, in a structure, from the human figure to any kind of form, landscape, all the way to the chiaroscuro and dimension. So it is very important and it sets you up to understand color and then painting all together. So with that said, let's get into the first class, which I'm going to dedicate it to the structure of the face. Don't worry, quite easy, and you'll be amazed in a very short time how I'm gonna be able to make you do that. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is a circle. Just a circle, simple circle. Either way, however it's easier for you, and don't be nice, don't be, try to be clean or perfect. That doesn't work, okay? So that's a circle. Then we're going to come in here, establish the center right here, and then establish the center right here horizontally. From there, we're going to go to the top half and divide that into twos. And from here, the center again, down, divide that into twos, okay? Now we're going to establish the top of the circle, just like that, and the bottom of the circle. I promise you're gonna have a face at the end. <laughs> so now that we have the top and the bottom, we're going to go right down here from this point and just add more or less the same space. Doesn't have to be exactly the same, but more or less the same. Another line just down here. Okay, that's simple. Everybody with me? Circle, from the circle, the first half right here, from here to the top, into three spaces, and from the middle, back down, into three spaces. Then, came up here, a line on the top, and a line on the bottom of the circle. Okay, so, now from there, we're going to go right onto the marks of what these lines are going to be. We're going to come over here, right? Right here, this line in the center, to mark it, this line in the center is gonna be the brows, the eyebrows, okay? That's the line of the eyebrows. And right there from here, we're gonna go to this one here from the top, the first one from the top, and this here, is going to be hair. Okay, now from the hair, we're gonna go all the way down here, which is going to be this here, it's going to be nose, and bottom of the ears. And this here is eyebrows and the top of the ears okay now from that we're going to go to this line down here and this line here represents the chin so recapping circle center one two spaces 
the same on the top and then one two spaces in the bottom then we put right here this and this on top and bottom of the circle then the middle line which again is the eyebrows and the top of the ear the top line writes first one from the top the hair and then the first one from the bottom which is the nose and the bottom of the ears and then this one here which is the chin now from there all we have to do is come in and right from here from the hairline right here to this line right here of the nose we're going to do a crop then it's going to come in this way and then another one over here then it's going to come this way from the top of the circle with the hairline to the bottom of the circle with the nose and hairline the same thing on the left right here all the way to here okay and then from there we're just going to continue and make this and this so more or less is already coming along which of course make this for the top of the head the top of the head right here okay so now let's keep going now that we have that let's go first and put the ears very important to position the ears and you will see why so basically right here we go like this and then down to here angle line angle angle a little round in the bottom and you have ears well the structure of an ear okay now from this line right here where the ears ends right here see right here from the bottom of this ear to the bottom of this ear we're gonna go right across and I'm sure you can tell what's coming in there right yeah that's the eyes okay so now from of course we are we know without having the there then this is the center of the face right so now from here we're just gonna do a little sort of open triangle a triangle that it doesn't have doesn't close it's open on the top and it's open on the bottom and then from there we're gonna come down to here and voila we have a nose okay now from that nose we're going to go right on to the part of the mouth and here's a very interesting tip for the mouth of course we know that the mouth is right here the bottom line that we did on that circle that's actually the mouth and of course we're doing this fast but if you take your time and you revise the steps you will be able to do it so now of course right here is where the mouse is going to be but where exactly that the mouse goes here is a great tip that I discovered on my own the space between the nose and the upper lip is an actual finger okay of course this face is a lot much bigger than the regular human so we can add here two fingers but regardless if you look in front of the mirror and you look at yourself you're going to see that right here between the nose and the upper lips your finger is going to fit perfect perfectly so more or less let's give it a bigger space because this face is bigger and right here is the top of the lip right here is the middle and down here is the bottom and now here is another great tip as well see the bottom part of the nose right here that repeats as well on the upper part of the lip the middle of the lips and the bottom of the lip so basically all we need to do is close it and we have a mouth right there so we have ears nose and mouth being very structural and very almost geometrical right because in reality if you dissect the human face underneath in the bone construction is extremely geometrical it's, it's something of course that leonardo da vinci discovered by dissecting all those dead people so and that's why we know it today so now we did the nose 
we did the lips. Now let's go on to the part of the structure of that we need to have in order to come to the three-dimensional, to push that face forward, okay? So from the top of the ear, we're gonna go above the eyebrow line, just a little bit, right here and here. And then from there, we're gonna go parallel to this. Up. Okay? Now, the same thing right here, just a little bit from this same part to here, we're gonna come to here, to the nose and ear line, right? And from there, to the chin. So here is the roundness, where the roundness of the head is gonna come once we go into the step of shadowing and creating that dimension. And then also the same thing with the cheekbones into this part of the face down to the chin. Okay, so now look, it's coming alone, isn't it? It's becoming to look like a face. Now that we have that already set up, we're gonna go right onto the part of the only thing that we have left, which is the eyes, right? Actually, no, let's do the eyebrow first. The brows, very simple. Everybody has different brows, but just to make it pretty general, from here, up, and then down to this mark right here of the line. From here up down to this line here of the mark. So you see every part of this structure has a purpose because this line right here is what guides you to where the eyebrow is gonna end, okay? And then the positioning of the eye, which I always recommend to leave it for last because it's the most important part of the face. That's what's gonna give life to the face is the expression of the eye. So it's quite easy because you, you can have, there is several methods that all different artists have created on their own. Mine, I happen to find that it's quite easy. The size of an eye, more or less in this face, it would be about this much. So the eye, the size of that eye, the width, I should say, of that eye, is actually the same space that is between this eye and this eye. So more or less, the space between those two eyes it should be another width of the same size of the eye. And another way to prove it and check it out is by drawing a line here to here. But and then again, I don't like to be too structured. So I like to combine the structure of the understanding of the face with the openness and the creativity of being free. So although this works as well, I prefer for you to come here and do this and this. And then you're gonna see that more or less this space and this space is the same one in here. And here is the final tip that is gonna make you realize that you have it in the correct place. Across the face, more or less from ear to ear, you're supposed to have five spaces the same width of the eye. So here we have it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? So more or less now you tune in and you make your eye more of what it has to be. And quite simple, the bottom lid is just like a curve on the dot line. The top one a little bit higher. And voila, you have it done. So the only thing left to do here is to become and start giving more shapes of roundness to this face, accentuate more the details of where this face is gonna go. And start giving shadowings, which that will be for the next time we meet. And there you have it, a face. And see, all these extra lines that we have here, that messy, that's something that if you're going to get this a little more seriously and you want to practice, none of this have to bother you. This cannot bother you. You have to stay on each step and just concentrate in that one step. That step will take you to the next. And then at the very end, when you start shadowing and doing things like that, is that you're going to understand 
how not important it is to pay attention to all this. If you want to get this face all the way here from the beginning, it won't work. It won't work. So you just have to be patient, follow these steps that I gave you, which is a deconstruction of how it has to happen. And then you will see that the next time we meet, we can go on to the building of the face, the shadowing of the face to make it more realistic. Okay, so there we have it. The structure of the face, something for you to be busy at home now for a little while until we next meet. So I hope that you enjoyed this short demonstration of how to build the structure of a face and then you're ready for the next one. And hopefully in the future, not too far from now, we will be able to keep doing this as we are accustomed in the beautiful artist love of Oceana's Riviera or Marina. So, see you in the studio. Thank you.